So in my chemical mechanisms and rate determining step video, we looked at a lot of mechanisms where the first step was the slow step or the rate determining step. But what if the first step is not the rate determining step? What if it's not the slow step? What if it comes after the first step? Let's look at that here. So in an overall chemical reaction, 2NO plus O2 goes to 2NO2, we have this mechanism available to us. And let's say we know that this is the rate law. Rate equals K times the concentration of NO2 squared times the concentration of O2. So this means that at or before the rate determining step, two NO molecules and one O2 molecule must react. So looking at the mechanism here, based on what we've learned thus far, we know that to write the rate law, we should look at the rate determining step and say rate equals the rate constant times the concentration of this times the concentration of this. So that would give us this, right? Rate equals K3 times the concentration of NO times the concentration of OONO. But that doesn't match with what we know to be the rate law, right? So how do we figure out how to account for this? Well, if you look closely, you can see that the first reaction here is actually an equilibrium step. This first reaction rapidly establishes its equilibrium and it is the fast step. Then it's followed by step two, the slow step or the rate determining step. So we can actually set up an equilibrium expression for step one. And I've done that right here. I said Kc, the equilibrium constant, is equal to the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants multiplied together. And if you solve for the concentration of OONO here, you get this. And then what you can do is actually plug this entire term in for OONO in this rate law that we obtained from the slow step. So once you substitute this in for OONO, you end up with this right here. And we can condense this K3 and this Kc into a single K here and just define it as K is K3, Kc. And then you notice here we've got NO times NO, so NO squared times the concentration of O2. So now this looks like the known rate law that we know to be true. So this is how you can use an equilibrium steps equilibrium expression to substitute in a term for one of your reactants to obtain the correct rate law. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you in the next one.